Hello there, thank you for joining me for today's practice. Today is a short sequence for strengthening and releasing the entire spine, but particularly the lower back as well. Um, you will need a block and a blanket or a cushion for today's practice. If you don't have either of those, that's okay. We can just, just make do the best that you can. We're just going to use the block just for the beginning and for something else that we'll do towards the end. Um, but you can actually do it without it as well. So make sure you feel comfortable and then let's make a start. And we're going to start seated on our blanket or our cushion. You don't have to, but I find it quite nice because we're going to start seated for a little while and just to kind of release off the hips a little bit. There's not too much strain. So fold up your blanket and we're just wanting to sit down on the blanket to create the make the hips a little bit higher than the knees. And I'm going to mirror you and we're going to start with the right leg in front this in your cross-legged position and have your block nearby so you can just easily grab it in a moment. And then let's just make ourselves nice and comfortable. Place the hands down onto the thighs and close down the eyes. I'm just taking this time to settle. sense of grounding into the body. Just feeling the sitting bones pressing down into uh, the cushion or your blanket underneath you. Picture the length of the entire spinal column all the way from the base, the tailbone, the sacrum, the lower back, the middle back, the upper back and the neck. And with each inhale, imagine there's space being created in between all the vertebras. So there's a sense of growing up and out through the crown of the head as you ground down through the sitting bones. And then bring the focus to the breathing, starting to lengthen into your breath, slowing down the inhale and slowing down the exhale. And just continue slowing down the inhale and slowing down the exhale. Continuing to have that sense of growing up and out through the crown of the head whilst you keep the breath easy and smooth. Let's start to gently open up the eyes. Grab your block and then hold the block sideways. You're going to press the palms, the hands into the block and then extend the arms away from you. So you're holding the block up to shoulder height. Keep growing up and out through the waist, crown of the head lifting. Press the palms, the hands into the block. And I'm going to draw the shoulder head slightly back into the sockets. Keep pressing the palms of the hands into the block without creating too much extra tension. So there's a bit of effort that's involved here, but try not to lift the shoulders up. Keep the shoulders dropping down. Now we're going to take an inhale and lift the block up above the head. We're going to take an inhale, grow up and out. And if you're finding that you're starting to really flare open here, just let the rib cage drop back in and you can take the arms a bit further forward. But if you can, we're going to try to take the arms up above the head. Similar action, keep pressing the palms, the hands into the block and think about lengthening out through both sides of the waist, particularly the lower part of the waist. Think about that breath being even and smooth.
Take one more inhale, lengthen up. As you exhale, twist to the right. Keep the arms exactly as they are. Keep that left sitting bone dropping down. And you don't have to worry too much about turning the head too much. Just thinking about that left side of the body turning to the right. Try to keep pressing evenly to both sides of the block. Keep breathing. Take one more inhale, grow out through both sides of the waist. As you exhale, keep that twist. We're just gonna drop that right hand behind you, take the block with you, and then we're gonna increase that twist. So back of the left hand to the outside of the right thigh. Use your right hand on that block, and then just take that twist a little bit further if you can. Now that left side of the, uh, the waist or that sitting bone is going to want to lift up. You want to keep grounding it back down. Take an inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, see if there's any more twists using the back of that left hand as a lever. So that left side of the body turning to the right. And if it feels comfortable, then you can just take the head a little bit further as well. Just one more breath here, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, see if there's any more space. And then let's inhale to come back to center, just unwinding forward, hands down by your side, in breath to lengthen up. As you exhale, let's walk the hands forward. You can place the palms flat down or be on your fingertips. Reach back down with your sitting bones, with your seat, as you grow out through the sides of the waist and that sternum reaching forward. And then let's walk the hands back up. Taking that right hand away from the hip, placing it down, and then let's go for our side bends. We're gonna take that uh, left arm up and over, dropping that right shoulder away from the ear. You might come all the way down onto your forearm, just see how you go, but really keep that left sitting bone pressing down. So we're not lifting that hip up, really pressing it down and maybe turning the eyes to look up towards the ceiling. Reach out through the top fingers. And then let's turn the head back to center and keeping the torso where it is, just bring this top arm back down, point the fingers away, let the head release. You're just getting that really lovely stretch along the left side of the neck there. And then imagine someone's pulling you up and then you just let the head trail behind as you come all the way back up. Let's swap the legs around. So we're gonna take that left leg in front now. Grab your block once again. Holding the block sideways, pressing the palms of the hands into the block and then bring it up to shoulder height. Lift up out of the waist. Draw the shoulder heads back into the sockets. Pressing the palms in. And then on the next inhale, let's take the arms all the way up, maybe a bit further forward of the head or above the head. See how you go. You might be feeling a little bit more open this second time around. Yes, being mindful of those lower ribs that want to flare forward. Think about climbing up through the back ribs as those lower ribs drop in. Easy breathing. Taking one more inhale, grow. As you exhale, twisting to the left. Keeping that right sitting bone down. Thinking about the right side of the body turning to the left now. Keep growing out through the waist. Taking one more big inhale. Lift out of the waist. And then as you exhale, keeping the twist, we're just gonna use that left hand, bring the block down behind you slightly to the left, increasing the twist. Back of that right hand onto the outside of the left thigh. 
and starting to deepen into that twist when you're ready. And we're just using that right hand as a lever, thinking about that right side of the body, turning to the left. Just notice if there's any softening that can happen. So finding that balance between effort and ease. Take one more big inhale, lengthen up. As you exhale, stay and see if there's any more space. And then inhale to unwind back to center. Hands beside you, inhale to grow. And then exhale, walking your hands forward. And be long through the torso. Pressing the sitting bones back as you reach the sternum forward. And even though I've come quite far down, feel free, absolutely free to just stay upright as well. It's working within a range that allows you to keep, continue to breathe with as much ease as you can. And then let's walk the hands back upright. Going for our side bend here, take the left hand away from the hips. You don't wanna to be too close here. Away, so you can take that right arm up and over, relax the shoulders away from the ears, dropping that left shoulder away, maybe coming all the way down to the forearm if that's available. Press down through that right sitting bone and then maybe turning the head to look up. And bring the head back to look forward. And then taking that top arm down, point through the fingers and then let the head really relax. So you're having that beautiful stretch along the right side of the neck. And then imagine someone's pulling you up. So the head trails behind and then coming all the way back upright. Now coming off your blanket and make your way onto all fours. So coming into your tabletop position. Spreading through the fingers, wrists lining up underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips. And we'll just go for our cat cow. It's releasing the belly down, tips of the shoulders draw away from the ears, lift the eyes, inhale. And then as you exhale, curling the tailbone under, draw the belly button in and tucking the chin in, press the middle part of the spine up to the ceiling. And then again, inhale, uncurling the spine so the belly releases down, tips of the shoulders away from the ears. And then exhale to go the other way. And then one more time, inhale. And exhale. Coming back into your neutral spine. So crown the head reaching forward. Take this right leg back, straighten the leg, tuck the right toes under for a moment. Tips of the shoulders away from the ears. Already starting to think about supporting the front of the body, lifting the, uh, the front of the body towards the back and then point through the right foot and lift it up so it's level with the torso. Weight's gonna start to shift over to the left. You wanna resist that a little bit, keep it centered. Back of the right thigh pressing up towards the ceiling without letting the lower back drop down. So pelvis is neutral. And if you can, extend that left arm forward as well. Palms facing in towards the midline of the body. Hold it here. Try to press the weight into the knuckles of the hand. Lift the lower ribs in. One more full breath. And then releasing that left hand down and the right foot down. Sitting back towards the heels. Take your child's pose for a moment. One full breath. And then come back into your tabletop position. We'll go to the other side. So take this uh, left foot back, toes tucked under for a moment. Think about lifting through the front of the body. 
and then point through the left toes, lift that left leg up. Trying to bring it up level with the torso without letting that lower back drop down. Keep lifting the lower rib cage in. And if you feel okay, extending that right arm away as well. Keep that back leg parallel. So you're thinking about the inside edge of that left leg lifting arm. Open breath. One more full breath. And then on the next inhale, let's release that right hand down and the left leg down. We're going to go for a couple more cat cows here. But option here to turn the fingers in. So turn the fingers out and then in back towards uh, the knees. If it doesn't work, then just keep them pointing forward. And you can draw the tips of the shoulders away, drop the belly down, lift the eyes. Inhale. And then exhale. Navel in, chin tucked in. And again, inhaling. And exhaling. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And then come back to neutral. Turn the fingers to point forward. Take the hands a couple of inches forward of the shoulders, tuck the toes under. Down facing dog. Let's take a couple of breaths in your down facing dog. If you prefer to pedal out through the feet, go for it. Otherwise, just holding stillness. Steady gaze in between the ankles. Press down into the knuckles of the hands, particularly the middle finger knuckle, and then start to grow out of the waist. Think about those hips lifting up and slightly back. Weight shifting back into the feet. And then let's rise up into the balls of the feet, take an inhale. As you exhale, take both heels over to the right hand side. Think about pressing down to that left hand and drawing that left hip away from the left hand. And then inhale, come back through center. Let's go to the other side. So both heels over to the left, pressing into that right hand, drawing that right hip away. And then inhale, come back through center. And stay up. On the balls of the feet slightly, let's take that right leg up to your three-legged dog. Keep the leg, legs parallel and try not to open out that hip for this variation, keeping it square. Press the back of the right thigh up towards the ceiling. Take an inhale. Exhale, knee into the chest, and let's step that right foot forward towards the hands. And then come down to that left knee. Release the top of the left foot down. Coming up. So we're coming into a lunge variation here. But we're not going to go for our really long lunge. We're going for a slightly short one so we can keep this pelvis really neutral. So this right knee above that right ankle. And we're just going to start with the hands on the lower ribs. And these really love to flare out like this. We're going to focus on drawing them in. Take the thumbs behind you. So we're going to draw the front of the ribs down and the back ribs up. So you're really growing up through the upper back. And then release the hands, take them up alongside the ears. Think about keeping that pelvis upright and then start to shift the hips slightly forward if you'd like to. And we'll just take a really short one. So we're going to really focus on opening up the front of that left thigh. Taking one more inhale. And then as you exhale, let's release the hands down by the front foot. Bring this left foot back behind you. So you're just kickstanding that left leg. Turn to face the side. Bring this right foot so the heel is in line with that left knee and the toes are still pointing towards the front of the edge of the mat. Place the back of that right hand to the inside of the leg, left hand to the waist, and then turn the head to look over the left shoulder. So you're using that right hand to open up that knee. Shoulders are staying pointing to the side. Head is turning. And then placing that right forearm down onto that left thigh, take the left arm up and over. You can take the eyes up towards the ceiling. And then 
take an inhale, coming upright, take that left hand down so the left wrist is underneath the shoulder, extend the right foot a little bit further away, take the right arm up and over, left shoulder away from the ear, maybe turning the eyes to look up towards the ceiling. And then bending into that right knee slightly as you come back upright, turn to face the front foot, bring the hands down, bring that left foot back behind you. We're going to walk this right foot over to the left, tuck the left toes under, lift the left knee off, and we're going to tuck this left knee to the side of that right ankle and then come to a seated position. So we're going to come into our twist here, trying to ground both sitting bones down. If this is a very difficult position for you, you could extend that left leg away long or sit up on your blanket. Right hand back behind you. Lift that left arm up. Inhale. Exhale. Hooking that left elbow over the right thigh and twisting, looking over towards the right. Not overstraining the neck. Thinking about that left side of the body turning towards the right. And then let's inhale, release. Shift the weight forward into that front foot so you can pop your hands down and then take that left leg back, right foot back, coming into your down facing dog for a moment. Taking one full breath here. Rising up under the balls of the feet. Take that left leg up into your three-legged dog. Draw that right quadricep up. Keep the hips square. And then bring that left knee in towards the chest and stepping it forward towards the hands. Dropping down to that right knee. Release the right toes down. And then coming upright. And we just, you might need to bring that left foot a little bit further back. So the left knee is over the left ankle. And we're going to start again, fingers on the front of the ribs, the thumbs towards the back. And we're just encouraging those front ribs to drop as you lift the back ribs up. Try to keep the pelvis upright so we're not dropping forward in that lunge variation. And then once we've got a sense of that, release the hands down, take an inhale, reach the arms up. Keeping that pelvis upright, you might better start to shift the hips slightly forward. We're just increasing that sensation at the front of that right thigh. One more inhale. And then as you exhale, release the hands down by that front foot. Kick stand this right foot back behind you, turning to face the side of the mat. Bring the left foot so the left heel's in line with that right knee. Left toes keep pointing forward. Back of that left hand to the inside of that uh, left knee and then right hand to the waist and turning the head to look over to the right. And now let's place that left forearm onto that left thigh. Take the right arm up and over. Just opening up through that right side body. Make sure you're not dropping into this left shoulder. You're pressing down into that forearm. And then let's take an inhale, come back up to center. We're gonna take that right hand down, right wrist underneath the right shoulder, extend that left foot a little bit further away to straighten, and left arm up and over. Maybe turning the eyes, look up towards the ceiling. On the next in-breath, you're gonna bend into that left knee a little bit so you can come back upright. Turning to face this front leg, bring the right foot back behind you, and then start to walk this left foot across to the right hand side of the mat, close to that right hand. Tuck the right toes under, lift the knee off, and then tucking this right knee 
So it's over to the side of that left ankle and try to get both sitting bones down. Move that right foot out if you need to. Hands beside you for a moment. Take an inhale, reach that right arm up and then hook that right elbow over that right left thigh and then starting to turn to the left. That's right side of the body turning to the left now. One more full breath, inhale. As you exhale, see if there's any more space. And then inhale, releasing back to center. And this time we're just going to uncross the legs and extend the legs out long in front. Just give the legs a little bit of a wriggle out here. And then we're gonna lie down onto the back. Just finding uh, your, uh, your feet hip distance apart, feet parallel, arms down by your side. And just for a few moments, let's close down the eyes. Just allowing the back surface of the body to relax. Feeling the soles of the feet on the mat. And then let's open up the eyes. Grabbing your block once again. We're gonna pop the block uh, in its thinnest um, kind of, I guess, setting, and then place it in between the thighs. You might need to bring your feet in a little bit closer. Arms down by your side. Let's take an inhale. As you exhale, we're gonna lift the hips up we won't go into our full kind of bridge here. We're just going for more of a straight line with the knees, hips and shoulders, arms down by your side, a little bit of a squeeze in towards the block. I'm really trying to activate the glutes and the backs of the legs here, which help with stabilizing the lower back. Just focusing on your breathing. Taking one more inhale, and then as you exhale, releasing the hips all the way back down. Let's pop the block to the side, and then we're gonna bring the feet together side by side. Taking another inhale, and then as you exhale, curl up the spine once again, and we're gonna come back into our tabletop position here. And then this might be enough for you. You can stay here. If you can, extend that right leg away long so it's level with that left thigh. So you're not lifting it up too high. You're keeping it level with the thigh. Try to keep the hip bones level. Press down to that left foot. And then place that right foot down. And we're going to swap it around. Take that left leg long. Keep breathing. And then place that left foot back down. Separate the feet. And now let's lift the hips up. Come into your more traditional bridge. You might want to interlace the hands underneath the back. Keep pressing down through the base of the big toe. One more inhale. As you exhale, release those hands down. Uncurl all the way down. Placing that right ankle on top of the left thigh. Coming into your figure four. So bringing the legs in if you can. Holding the front of the shin bone or behind that left thigh. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, squeeze the legs in a little bit more. If it feels comfortable, you might want to close down the eyes. And 
Noticing if there's any space, particularly on the exhale, to come a little bit deeper. One more full breath. On this next exhale, maybe squeezing in a bit more. And then let's release that down and we'll swap it around. Left ankle on top of the right thigh. Bring the legs in. Front of the shin or behind that right thigh. Inhaling as you exhale, trying to bring the legs in a bit closer. Try to relax the shoulders, relax the face. And one more full breath. On the exhale, maybe bringing the legs in a little bit closer. And then releasing the legs, place the feet flat down onto the mat. Open the feet out as wide as the mat and then let the knees drop in together. Arms a little bit away from the sides of the body. Just allowing everything to relax. You might want to stay here or you want, might want to pop a, a blanket underneath the knees. Otherwise, if you feel comfortable to do so, just extend those legs out long into your Shavasana. Arms a little bit away from the body. Just making sure you feel comfortable. Completely surrendering the weight of the body. Just letting go. resting here for the next few minutes. Feeling free to stay here for as long as you would like to. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.